Let's let's get to this story on the Biden front. So Joe Biden is now planning to recruit and already has and has already implemented a army of TikTok influencers to help his 2024 reelection hopes. Um, We're going to play you two pieces of audio. You have one guy uh, who was recruited. He is a 20 year old NYU student who runs a TikTok page that currently has more than 600,000 followers. And he offers commentary on U.S. politics and regularly promotes the power of Gen Z to boost support for the Democrats. His name is Henry Sisson, S-I-S-S-O-N. He's got a bad haircut, and he also sounds, and you'll hear it in a moment, like he drank a 25-ounce Red Bull. So I, I would recommend two things. One, if we play the video and you see this clip here on YouTube, this kid definitely needs to go to his local Supercuts or a barber shop and get a haircut. And secondly, he should probably uh, downsize to the 8.4-ounce uh, Red Bull can, which will give him a little bit more balance in his life. Uh, but here's Henry Sisson going to bat for Joe Biden being a TikTok Biden influencer. Take a listen to this one. President Biden has announced that he is running for re-election in 2024, and his announcement video is one of the best I've ever seen. The choice for the 2024 presidential election is already clear. We have President Biden, who's a good man, he's passed historic policy, and he cares about the American people. And in 2024, we're going to re-elect President Biden, and we're going to finish the job. And if you're not supporting President Biden, you're not supporting America. He's been one of the most productive presidents in American history. His head is bobbing, his hands are moving all around. He looks like Tony Bruno (laughs) getting animated on a YouTube show. And that's the first one. Then I got to play the second one. Um, And this is a guy named Chris Mowry. And he is another one of these Biden Gen Z TikToksters that uh, is obviously being paid to read basically bullet points. And if you're watching on YouTube, it's almost as if this kid is reading from a script directly. Uh, Let's take a listen to Chris Mowry going to bat for Joe Biden. I'm riding with Biden in 2024, Inflation Reduction Act, American Rescue Plan, CHIPS Act. This guy has been phenomenal, and as it stands right now, he is the choice for president in 2024. Republicans love to say that Gen Z is weak, ineffective, and lazy. And if that's the case, why do we keep being you? And if they think they can give the middle finger to our generation and get away with it, they're sorely mistaken. Here's my question, and the reason I play this, because it feels desperate. It feels contrived it feels forced oh these are cute kids oh yeah these are cute kids <laughs> these are the guys that are going to ruin this country <laughs> and the second God. kid his uh, name is chris mowry m-o-w-r-e-y that happens to be my uh my wife's maiden last name so i i have extra vomit coming up through my body this morning as i i see that kid on tv no relation to my wife's family but th- this is the kind of people i deal with at, at thanksgiving so is this a sign of desperation or is this actually a brilliant move? And let's let's be real too. Uh, Joe Biden didn't come up with this idea. I'm not sure that Joe Biden even knows what TikTok is, but some of the people in his camp have probably said, "Hey, this might be a way to get the 18, 29, or 18 to 22 crowd to vote Joe Biden." Is this a, is this could this really pay off? No, absolutely not. And I would like to think not. They sent the, uh, my guess is that somebody from the administration sent these kids. The script, of course, they yeah. said here. Well, the, this. the second kid looks like he recorded it on his phone as he, like, as he propped it up against his laptop while he was reading the email with the bullet points. <laughs> he was like a radio host doing a bad, a bad live read, <laughs> just reading all the bullet points. Yeah, but I, I'm actually a little. I'm not going to sound the alarm, but this is the type of stuff that I feel like Republicans are dealing with, and this is the battle that Republicans have to fight because this younger generation is you know gonna they've got it well they've got it democrats have his outnumbered period but then you you watch these videos and you're like this is why i feel like one of the reasons one of many reasons as to why republicans lose elections are we doing this with the younger crowd that are conservatives are we reaching out to the 18 to 25 year olds that are republican i actually think that I actually think that conservatives are actually very good at social media. I think that's one of the strengths of the conservative movement is that they're they're probably better than a lot you of think? I do. I do. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the young people that spend their whole life on social media I'm, are yeah, far more left than right. I'm not no no, I'm not talking about the young people. I'm talking about 
the people in general who are on social media. I mm-hmm. think I think the conservatives actually do it very well mm. at getting their message out. I hope somebody like Ben Shapiro has these two on his show or just interviews them. Right. I would like to see that interaction because I picture I always think about when we met you know, Greg Gutfeld for one of his you know when he was pushing one of his books and he talked about the fact that he grew up in a in a liberal family in California went to Berkeley mm-hmm. and then as he grew up and started you know thinking about business and taxes and working and all that realized yeah. oh uh I'm a conservative mm-hmm. <laughs> but he he's like that born again because he realized yeah he he realized it from the inside mm-hmm. and so I would love to see these two who I don't think I think they've grown up sheltered and in a bubble, and they really just don't know. They're just kids. And so exactly. They're, they're just regurgitating what they've been told. And and that's the part that scares me, because if you ask Henry Sisson or Chris Mallory about the CHIPS Act or the Inflation Reduction Act, I don't think they could speak remotely intelligently about either one of them. And that's what concerns me about losing elections to uneducated Democrats when we are outnumbered with the Republican Party, because these people... They don't vote based on facts and data. They vote based on feelings. That's that's what the majority of people vote on, though. I know. The majority of people vote on feelings. They don't, you know, if you ask 90% of the country right now what the CHIPS Act is or whatever, they wouldn't know. Yeah. So, so you so, think it applies to both sides? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. No, that's fair. And you're probably right with that, for sure, because not everybody is deep in the weeds like we Most are. Most people aren't. Right, right. I'm just, and by the way, Daniel Valdez checks in on our text. He says the first kid, which is uh, Henry Sisson, has been doing this since Trump was elected. Uh, he did Trump hate TikTok videos. So I would imagine if he's 20, you go back seven years, he's been doing this since he was like 14 years old. Wow. Yeah, so why does a 14 year old care? Do that. It, yeah. this, is, mm-hmm. this is what this kid has been told. And I seriously doubt. That this kid works on the family farm or in the family business. Right. Because he and, probably lives in a city in an apartment. And <laughs> is well provided for. Is yeah. from a well-to-do family. Yep. And so and so that's that's just it. The best thing that could happen mm-hmm. to all to all of these individuals, get a job. Yeah. Look at your paycheck. Look at the taxes that come out of your check. Right. I, I think my, my final point on this and, and why I wanted to play this, in addition to whether or not it's a desperate act or a smart move and it'll pay off, is in general, I think the Republicans really need to start embracing some of the concepts that the the Democrats always seem to be a step ahead of us. And whether you talk about ballot harvesting, mail-in ballots, we talked about a lot of these different things in the last couple of months that if you want to win elections, you're going to have to get out of your old stodgy ways and start doing these things. 